When a woman went on vacation in the Cantabria region of Spain, she expected a peaceful and relaxing getaway. However, her trip took a dangerous turn when she ran into trouble while crossing a river and came close to drowning. Desperate, she called out for help, and that's when a powerful wild bear appeared, doing something both surprising and remarkable. Wild animals and humans have lived together for millions of years. As humans began to settle in different parts of the world, they built homes, flourished, and grew. Meanwhile, wild animals had to accept the loss of their natural habitats. And when humans encountered a wild animal, it would often lead to danger, but usually both kept their distance and lived side by side in relative peace. Some animals are still very dangerous to humans, yet we have made efforts to protect and preserve them. There are many stories of animals in need approaching humans for help, and most of the time, humans have responded by rescuing them. But what if the situation were reversed and humans needed help from the animals? Would the animals repay our kindness, or would their wild instincts take over, causing them to ignore or even harm us? Maria Carmen faced this exact issue while on vacation in Cantabria, Spain. She had always wanted to visit this beautiful area. She dreamed of camping in the lush green forest, walking along the golden beaches, and swimming in the clear blue rivers, streams, and seas. Maria also hoped to study the wildlife, as she loved being around animals. She was a wildlife enthusiast. When not working, Maria spent her time volunteering at her local animal shelter. She helped all kinds of animals, from cats and dogs to lions and tigers. Helping animals in need gave her a great sense of pride and was her true passion. Maria made her way into the deep forest, set up her campsite, and ate a meal over the campfire she had built. Feeling full and content, she decided to go for a walk and explore the area. It was even more beautiful than she had imagined. As she walked, she hoped to see some chamois, an animal native to the area that she had never seen before. Little did Maria know that danger was just around the corner and that her dream wildlife spotting trip would soon turn into a nightmare. As Maria walked through the forest, she came upon a river that flowed through the middle of it. The river was quite large and appeared fairly deep. Fortunately, there were rocks scattered across the river that she could use as stepping stones to get to the other side. While Maria could have easily crossed the river during her younger years, her age now catching up with her, making the task of leaping between rocks more challenging. She wasn't old, but she wasn't as young as she felt in her mind. Still, Maria was confident that she could make it across. She took one leap from the riverbank and landed safely on the first rock. Then she leaped again, reaching the next rock. But on her third leap, things went terribly wrong. As her foot landed, it slipped on some damp moss covering the rock. Her leg twisted, and she lost her balance, slipping off the rock and plunging into the water below. Despite the warmth and sunshine of the day, the river water was unexpectedly cold. Having descended from the hills and mountains, the icy shock of the water hit Maria with such force that it took her breath away as she plunged into the river. Her body tensed up, immobilized by the cold, leaving her struggling in those terrifying initial moments. As she gasped for air, water surged into her lungs, causing her to cough and sputter violently. After a frantic struggle, she managed to surface, her panic escalating as she reached for the rock she had fallen from, desperate to pull herself to safety. Yet in her disorientation, she failed to notice that the swift current had already carried her downstream, far from the spot she had intended to grasp. Maria struggled to keep her head above the water as the cold made her arms and legs seize up. She flailed and yelled for help wherever she could catch her breath, but there was no one else around in the forest to hear her desperate pleas. Maria was swept swiftly down the river, with underwater rocks tearing at her clothes and cutting her skin. The icy water numbed her to the pain. She hoped to swim towards the bank and find a place where she could stand, but her arms and legs refused to cooperate and barely moved. As water kept splashing over her head, Maria saw her life flash before her eyes. She believed she would die there, her body eventually being swept out to sea when the river met the ocean. But then, something entirely unexpected happened, something so astonishing it would leave anyone in shock. As Maria flailed and struggled to keep her head above the water, she saw the trees on the riverbanks rustling and moving. Suddenly, a giant bear appeared on the riverside, staring at the struggling human. This sight made Maria panic even more. Bears were known for their violence and viciousness, and although she loved and respected these large animals, she didn't want to encounter one in the wild, especially in her already life-threatening situation. Around 300 grizzly bears live in the Cantabria region of Spain. These powerful and mighty predators sat at the top of the food chain with nothing to fear. Their teeth were gigantic and their claws could easily tear apart anything they hunted. Despite their fearsome appearance, they mainly ate nuts, berries, fruits, leaves, and roots. 
Grizzly bears could be surprisingly gentle when in a good mood, but when in a bad mood, they were deadly. If Maria had the strength, she would have shouted at the bear to scare it back into the forest. She recalled a previous encounter with a grizzly bear and remembered her shock at its immense size. That bear had needed tranquilization so the animal shelter could treat its cuts and infected paw. While it lay unconscious, Maria had placed her hand gently against its paw, marveling at how small and insignificant she felt in comparison. Grizzly bears were truly enormous and magnificent predators, not to be trifled with. But the bear had heard Maria's desperate cries and came to investigate. It stood for a long moment, just watching, before wading into the water and swimming swiftly towards the drowning woman. Maria, utterly exhausted and bereft of strength, could neither swim away nor struggle against the current. She swallowed more and more water, slipping in and out of consciousness. As darkness threatened to overtake her, she felt the bear's powerful presence beside her, its massive form nudging her. She weakly grasped at its long, wet fur, hoping to pull herself upwards, but her strength failed her, and she blacked out completely. When Maria regained consciousness, she found herself lying on the riverbank. Her clothes were drenched, and she was shivering uncontrollably from the cold, but the sun's gentle warmth on her face provided some relief. As she coughed heavily, expelled the excess water from her lungs, her eyes fell upon the bear, which was now only a few meters away. The bear sat quietly, observing her with a curious gaze, as if ensuring her that she was all right. Initially, a surge of fear gripped Maria once more, but it quickly gave way to a profound realization. The bear was not a threat, but a savior. The grizzly had pulled her from the water, placed her safely on the riverbank, and stayed nearby to make sure she was breathing and stable. With this understanding, Maria stood up slowly and cautiously, never taking her eyes off the bear that had come to her aid. Maria had never given much thought to the concept of karma, but if she had, she might have seen the bear's remarkable act of kindness as a form of cosmic repayment for all the animals she had helped, saved, and rescued over the years. As if sensing the finality of the moment, the bear rose to its feet and turned away beginning its slow, deliberate retreat into the forest. The encounter had been profound and extraordinary, a life-changing experience that Maria would carry with her forever. It was a close brush with the wild that underscored the interconnectedness of life and left an indelible mark on her heart. What are your thoughts on this extraordinary story? Have you ever come across accounts of wild animals offering to help humans in such a remarkable manner? Imagine witnessing a large wild bear coming to the rescue of a drowning woman. How would you have responded to such a dramatic and unexpected event? We're eager to hear your perspective, so please share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. I'm Mickey V, and until next time, have a great day.